So, I have an unboxing today of a CPU. This is an AMD A8 CPU. And what's different about this versus an AMD A8 CPU that I looked at before that I'm actually gonna go get the box of. In fact, I've got a bunch of AMD boxes. Oh, it's okay, you didn't have to show me doing that, but there you go. So there's the A8 3850, there's the FX8150. So this is a 3870K. So what is the difference between a 3870K and a 3850, which I'm pretty sure this is a 3850. Please tell me it's a 3850. Yeah, okay, it's a 3850. Um, the difference between this is A, you have a higher stock frequency. So this guy's clocked at 3 gigahertz versus 2.9 gigahertz on its predecessor. You also get a sticker, which I believe was also included with the previous generation product. It's got a three year warranty, which is typical of AMD products. Comes with a little manual for installing it. This is an FM1 socket product, so that means it is an APU, just like its predecessor, they both are. But the key difference, there's your included heatsink. The key difference is, this right here, the K in the part number. So the K in the part number means that in addition to three gigahertz quad core processors, that is CPUs, so to speak, uh, four megs of total cache. Uh, ooh, I hope this is a 6550D. I believe it's a 6550D, I'll be back. So yes, it does have a 6550D GPU. So really those terms are what AMD would consider to be obsolete because this is not a CPU or a GPU, it is an APU, which means it has a quad core processing component as well as a DirectX 11 graphics core and it's all built onto this chip that goes into the socket of your motherboard. So your motherboard is at the point now where it contains almost no logic at all other than your storage controller, you know, USB, that kind of stuff. And almost everything is done right on the CPU including integrated graphics. So Right, in addition to all that, you get K, which means it is unlocked. This is unlocked just like an FX class part, just like an Intel K class part. That means you can overclock more easily than you could with the 3850. So in terms of your sheer speed, you know, just out of the box, these are going to be very, very similar. However, once you start overclocking, this starts to make sense. Now, how does it compare to the competition? Intel has their Core i3 dual core processors. They do have hyper-threading in some cases. And honestly, in some applications where you need faster but fewer cores, it doesn't stand up that well. However, if you are going to need the extra cores or if you're gonna need the graphics power, and you can see they got like all these pictures and stuff like Dirt 3, if you're gonna need the graphics power, AMD's APU absolutely smokes an Intel Sandy Bridge processor with its integrated HD 2000 or HD 3000 graphics in games. I've actually done a video about this where I had the 3850 and I compared it directly against, I think it's the 2105 from Intel. That's elsewhere on my Linus Tech Tips channel. If you Google like APU Linus Tech Tips or something, it should come up. And uh, so you can see how drastic the difference is between these guys and the Intel competition. So basically what this is, is it's an unlocked, little bit faster, easier to overclock, perfect CPU, uh, APU for gamers on a budget.